Streets. And for all those 200 plus students, there are parents that now have to figure out how they're staying at home from work or arranging daycare for their kids. CBS 2's Marissa Parra spoke to several parents of Vaughn students over FaceTime. Quarantine isn't just time at home for these parents. Several of them tell me that the CDC and local and state public health departments have been calling them all day, checking in with updates and keeping a close eye on potential symptoms they hope never show up. Again. 15 year old Johnny gives us the thumbs up. He's feeling fine. <laughs> Welcome news after a staffer at his Chicago school tested positive for COVID-19. At first I did freak out. I was a little um... I became very anxious. We caught up with his mother, Barbara Murphy, over FaceTime from her home. Her son is one of over 200 special needs students from Bonn Occupational High School told to quarantine. John goes to school with a nurse and had just mentioned that she was in the room with them on Wednesday. And I think that's why people are concerned for John specifically. Specifically concerned because he's medically fragile. John was born with right sided congenital diaphragmatic hernia, so he has uh, partial lungs. Partial lungs and epilepsy, a cocktail of afflictions. That means his parents are always on high alert for sickness. If Johnny gets the flu, he could damage his lungs so bad that he wouldn't make it. Years ago, he almost didn't make it after he got H1N1, a different virus from a different outbreak. He ended up in the ICU and uh, for a couple weeks. He's breathing really good. He swung out of it, but he came out of it on oxygen. His needs now are round the clock, which means quarantine for students like him means no working outside the house for parents like Barbara. Right now, no one is sure who the school staffer came in contact with and if she was contagious when she did. To be on the safe side, students like John are getting tested for COVID-19 this weekend. It's possible that he didn't even talk to her or even you know, brush up against her. So you just got to wait and see. Barbara tells me the Illinois Department of Public Health told her that students like John will be getting tested for COVID-19 tomorrow. Reporting from the newsroom, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News.